This is a short descriptive video about a very rare flip um, flip clock. Basically, it's a flip wall clock. It's a wall clock flip clock. It's made by Copal. It's one of the few wall clocks they did. And um, I think this is actually the only one that is um, mains power um, uh, operated. The other ones they did were of a later uh, version and they ran on batteries, which is essentially more practical, I guess. Although they're not as exciting as this one. Um, this clock is rare on its own. Uh, I think I've had like three of those in the past in all of the somewhat 15 years I've been um, wheeling, dealing, restoring, whatever, whatnot, flip clocks. Um, so it's it's rare um, um, uh, on its own. And can you imagine the excitement I felt when I was able to track down this particular one um, being brand new in its original box or so-called new old stock. Uh, I mean it's hard enough to find an original box for a Copal flip clock, uh, let alone <laughs> with the original clock still in there, um, brand new unused. Um, so yeah, I mean obviously I jumped at the chance uh, to get this one. Uh, it's in stunning um, orange slash red color. You could argue it's more red than orange, you could argue it's more orange than red. I guess that's kind of personal. It's Maybe it's more red than orange, I don't know. I love this color. Um, it's very shiny um, because the finish of the, of the clock itself. Uh, it has a glass front. Uh, it has the, the old font on the flaps which are quite large. I'll just show you my hand which is of a very regular size I would say for a man anyway. Um, so as to compare it to the size of the clock. It's not extremely big. And um, so it has everything like original, uh, the original cable, original plug, which are unused and very, very, very good condition. So I decided not to replace them. If you're interested in this clock and you would like me to replace the cable and the plug, you send me a message. I mean, it would obviously affect the authenticity and the originality and potentially, or maybe quite surely, the value of the clock. But I mean, if that's what you want, I can do it, of course. Um, so you can hang it on the wall. Um, so it has these rubber kind of feet, I would say, to not let the clock touch the wall. And there's this small tri triangular hole there. Um, you'd have to use a small screw. I've had this issue in the past when I wanted to hang one of these up and just a normal size screw, the head of the screw wouldn't fit through it. So you'd need to use a smaller screw, but it's not very heavy, so that's not an issue at all. Um, this clock originating from Europe, or it was, you know, marketed and sold in Europe, uh, it needs 220 volts 50 hertz. So you can use it in Europe or in Australia or anywhere else where you need to, where you have 220 volts 50 hertz. Um, or you would use an adapter for the voltage slash the hertz. Uh, as you can see, this is part of the, um, the styrofoam that goes with the clock. Let me just quickly show you the box. So this is the other part of the styrofoam. A bit of plastic there. I mean, not extremely exciting, but you know, goes with the clock. And here's the um, the box itself. The Caslon 401, Copal Company, the Copal Caslon 401, Copal Digital Electric Wall Clock. It doesn't say much more than that. Um, well, actually, it, you know, it does say that the color is red, so we'll just keep it on <laughs> red. 24 hours, uh, 100 to 260 volts, 50 hertz. Um, there's no instruction manual with it, but I mean, essentially, it's not extremely complicated. Um, you plug it in, and there she goes. You set it to the right time, obviously. Um, so yeah, not much more to say. Obviously, uh, the motor is lubricated by me, clean and lubricated. So I mean, even though it's it's new, uh, there will be some old lubrication in there when you find one of these clocks, and that just uh, needs to be cleaned and it needs some fresh lubrication. Uh, so this clock is is ready and good to go for 30, 40, 50 years. Who knows? Uh, um, that's something you will have to find out. Um, so yeah, I mean, I wouldn't wait too long if you're interested. Um, yeah, I think not much more to say. So, I mean, and like, um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you want any more pictures of this particular clock, also let me know. And obviously this clock will be for sale in my shop. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching.